I'm Craig Stanley, a senior staff architect in cloud economics at VMware. Every day it seems we get news of cost increasing on everything from consumer goods and services to fuel and energy. Energy is a fundamental component of nearly every operational transaction, whether it be in heavy manufacturing, transportation, or even keeping the lights on in the data center. Today we're on the brink of an energy challenge that could have a significant financial impact on the IT data center. Energy prices are responding to geopolitical, environmental, and fiduciary pressures, and Europe is at the forefront of the financial impact. The most visible pressure is the geopolitical conflict, which has reduced the historical energy supply for countries like Germany, forcing them to return to less sustainable sources and purchase energy from neighboring countries at a higher cost. The second pressure on energy costs comes from supporting climate change initiatives. Lower cost energy solutions are being replaced by higher cost, but more sustainable choices. However, this also reduces the supply as the rising demand for more electricity to support electric vehicles and the demand from homes and businesses transitioning from gas and oil further burden the electrical capacity. And while these are worthwhile directives, they do come with a cost premium that drives directly to the overall cost of energy. The third pressure is coming from the increasing appetite of data centers. In a 2020 study by the European Commission, they estimated EU data centers accounted for 2.7% of electricity demand in 2018 and would reach 3.2% by 2030 if consumption continued at the same rate. Lastly, inflationary pressure is the fourth factor driving energy price increases as buying power decreases. The resulting tighter monetary policies and actions further reduce operating funds available for business operations. So what does the energy pricing landscape in EMEA look like? Historically, we have seen the cost of electricity remain relatively stable from 1998 through 2020, ranging from a low of less than 10 cents per kilowatt hour to about 16 cents per kilowatt hour. In 2020, the global COVID-19 pandemic drastically altered the world's business operating models and prices remained flat. But in 2021, Electricity prices began a rapid climb, increasing by 20% in 2021 and by another 150% in 2022, partly fueled by the restrictions on energy from Russia. According to Statista, the average electricity prices in June 2022 for EMEA countries ranged from the lowest being Poland, with an average price of 18 cents per kilowatt hour, to the highest cost in Denmark, which is at 53 cents per kilowatt hour. The result is that energy prices in EMEA have increased at a compounded annual growth rate of 21.5% since 2019. So what does the future hold? With the economic pressures on energy prices that we mentioned, there's no indication that these prices will not continue to rise. Based on the past five years growth, it is possible we could see EMEA electricity prices rising as high as 94 cents per kilowatt hour by 2028. The bottom line is how these price increases impact the cost of operating the data center. At the electricity prices we saw in 2019, the energy cost component of a typical data center was about three and a half percent of the data center's total cost of ownership, or TCO. But as this simulation shows, rising electricity costs result in the energy cost component increasing significantly. In fact, we estimate that each one cent per kilowatt hour increase in the average electricity prices drives an incremental 0.2% increase in the on-premises data center TCO. By 2030, the data center's energy cost could be more than 17% of the total cost of ownership. So what can you do to protect your IT budget from these energy cost increases and mitigate the risks? Is there anything we can do? Well, the answer is yes. The simplest solution is to lock in the electricity prices at today's rates and shift the driving efficiency to lower economies of scale challenge to someone else. The best way to do that is to move your data center applications to the cloud. However, we know that that path can be fraught with peril in terms of runaway costs, delays, performance impact, 
and operational security. But what if there was an underlying unified cloud infrastructure that could essentially virtualize the cloud layer itself to provide a common and consistent management plane connecting any cloud to any application? Well, there is, and it is the VMware multi-cloud approach delivered by VMware Cloud. VMware Cloud provides the unified infrastructure, management, security, and workload mobility environment to support traditional on-premises workloads on all the major cloud providers. So whether you prefer your applications on AWS, Azure, Google, or Oracle Cloud, the migration path is simplified, consistent, and far faster than traditional rehosting and refactoring. And VMware Cloud provides the same management, security, and deployment platform across them all, virtually removing the need for specialized skills and training. Let's consider the energy impact on a typical TCO. In this example, we use the power price for Germany as of May 2023. The facilities costs, which include power and cooling, represent 18% of the data center's TCO, which is up from 12% when the energy prices were only 10 cents per kilowatt hour. By leveraging fewer, more energy efficient servers and running in world-class power utilization efficiency or PUE data centers, we estimate this data center could reduce their net CO2 emissions by as much as 73% per year. When we drill into the energy cost alone, we see a three-year cost of nearly 477,000 euros. Now, if prices rise as high as one euro per kilowatt hour, the total power and cooling costs could exceed 1.1 million euros. If these workloads were platformed on VMware Cloud, the power cost could be a direct savings to the data center. In this price projection, this represents a 126% increase over current electricity rates. Is that a cost you want to absorb into your data center budget when there's an effective way to avoid it? Well, let's wrap up. We've seen the recent rapid increase in energy prices over the past five years, driven by conflicts, climate initiatives, data center growth, and global inflation. And there doesn't seem to be any new inexpensive, clean, renewable, and safe energy sources coming to the market in the near future. The best thing we can do is to find ways to reduce energy consumption, and we believe VMware Cloud is the fastest and best risk-averse way to do that. Based on the price performance of the past five years, we could see electricity prices in EMEA rising by as much as 21.5% per year. That means that by 2028, the power and cooling cost of the average EMEA data center could be as much as 16% of the data center's TCO. We believe that VMware Cloud gives our customers a way to get to the cloud faster and easier, reduce your data center TCO cost by an average of 30 to 32%, protect your budget and operating expenses from short-term energy price increases, and reduce your net carbon footprint. We have a simple online version of our VMware Cloud TCO model for VMware Cloud on AWS that you can try out for yourself. That model can be accessed by going to vmctco.vmware.com and providing a few general inputs about the workloads you want to evaluate. So, intrigued to learn more about the solution and how to evaluate what savings you could gain by running your workloads on VMware Cloud? In the description of this video, you can find a link to the tool VMware Cloud Total Cost of Ownership. With only 10 inputs in two minutes, your first pass analysis can be ready. We invite you to try out the model and see for yourself how VMware Cloud can help you save money and protect your budget. Check out links to other useful resources in the description, and thanks for watching.